Hi everyone and welcome back to Luxury in Life. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video, a work edition. So the bag I use for work is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size in the Damier Ben print. So I'm going to be showing you everything that's in my bag. But if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to also be going through a little giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I've almost reached 2000 followers on Instagram, which is really exciting. So I will be doing a giveaway to celebrate that. So if you're interested to see what that is, keep on watching. Now I know everyone is in completely different situations when it comes to work. Myself, I was working throughout lockdown from home. I only went back into the office at the beginning of August when things started to reopen again. So I have been in the office all throughout August and September. But again, this week we have now been told in England, if you can work from home, then you should again. So unfortunately, I won't be going back to the office. I will be remaining at home from now on. But I did get use out of my bags through August and September. I really missed them actually. So I did get a bit of use out of them and I'll be showing you what I was taking with me into the office when I was going in. So as I said, the bag that I use for work on a daily basis is the Neverfull GM. It is huge. It is a Mary Poppins bag. It fits everything that I need. I'm someone that just likes to take a lot with me if I need to take my laptop or anything like that. This just fits everything. It is quite large. So I'll show you what it looks like on me. I am 5'3". So it is very big, but I absolutely love it. It just fits so much. I can just throw everything I need in here and I just love how it looks as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna start going through, picking out one by one all of the things in here. I do also have a handbag liner in here, which helps keep the shape of the bag so that it doesn't fall over when it's kind of standing on its own, which I'd really, really recommend. So the first thing that I always have with me on a daily basis when I'm going to the office is my iPad. So this is the iPad Pro with the pencil. Um, I have this on me because I just use it when I'm on the go. Um, I'm a graphic designer, so I do a bit of illustration as well. So the iPad Pro with the pencil is really, really handy for me. I can just sketch up what I need, design what I need on the iPad and then transfer it straight to my iMac. So I use this on a daily basis. It comes everywhere with me. It also is really good for when I just want to check emails or anything on the go. Yeah, I love my iPad Pro. So that comes with me every single day. The next thing, I always take my lunch with me if I can. So I always have a lunchbox in my bag. I just try every day to kind of make my meals on the evening. So I have it for the next day. I'm not spending too much money. Um, so yeah, I'll always have a lunchbox in my bag. So the next thing I take with me every day to work is my Louis Vuitton MM agenda. So I'm someone that likes to write things down, cross them off, to-do lists any appointments, meetings. So I much prefer doing that in this rather than on my phone. I just get a bit more kind of gratification out of it. So I love this. I use it every single day. I've got some really cool little dashboards and inserts. I do have a video on everything that I use inside this planner. So I will link that down below. I've had it monogrammed with my initials as well. And yeah, this comes with me everywhere. I use it for work purposes, but also personal purposes as well. So that comes with me every day. I really love this. The next thing that's in my bag is my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Cosmetic Pouch. This is a more recent addition to my collection, but I love it. I did have the Toiletry 15 before this, but I just found it too small. I like to take quite a lot with me in here. It's just basically full of makeup bits, hand cream, lip balms, paracetamols, a little mirror, a comb, just everything. It's kind of a catch-all for things that I don't want floating around in my bag. I just stick them all in here and it just is really handy. I do also have a liner in here as well, which again keeps it nice and structured and just protects the inside of it as well. So yeah, I love this. This obviously doesn't fit with me in my smaller bags on a weekend and things like that, but I do enjoy taking it with me to work. The next thing that I have is my wallet. So this is the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet and it's got this gorgeous red pop of red colour and it is a really nice compact size. So previously to this, I had a really long full size Kate Spade wallet, which 
I do really like, but I've just found myself gravitating more towards a smaller wallet, especially because this now does fit in my smaller bag. So if I want to use my Chanel walk, my posher accessories, anything like that, this fits in there. But I just, yeah, I'm really enjoying trying to downsize, especially in my wallet. So it just folds out in kind of like a trifold. So I've got my cards. There's a space at the top for um, notes or anything like that. And it does also have a small zip compartment for coins as well. So really nice, really compact. I love the red and I love that it matches the red on the inside of my bag as well. So that really pleases me. And yeah, I just love it. It's so cute, so practical. So yeah, the Zoe wallet from Louis Vuitton. The next thing, probably my favourite SLG ever, and it is my six ring key holder. This is quite battered now. I did a review of it um, a few videos ago. I have just used it non-stop for two years, over two years now, but it has my car fob, all of my keys. So the six ring is good for me. They do do a four ring as well, but I just have quite a lot of keys. So I love having this with me. I love that it also fits a card just in that little slot there at the back. So if I wanna just take this with me, really quickly on a weekend if all I need is my car keys and a card I can just take that so it's really nice really compact and it doesn't scratch the inside of my bags with all of the keys kind of protected in this little case so absolutely one of my favorite pieces so that comes with me every day as well the next thing I've had for so many years it's really really bad now um but it is a tangle teaser so this is just a really small compact little hairbrush it fits in your hand it's just so easy, just so good. So that comes with me every day. I probably should get a new one. I must have had this, what, six years or something like that. But I just love it and it's the only thing I use. So I use this at home, I use this at work. It's just, yeah, great little size. It's really good for your hair. Yeah, a tangle teaser, I definitely, definitely recommend. The next thing I have in here is obviously very important right now and that's just some sanitizer. I don't go anywhere without one of these now, it just doesn't feel right. So I need to have this on me at all times. So that comes with me in every single bag and everywhere that I go. Another thing that's kind of on the same wavelength is a face covering. So this is just a plain black one that I've got in like a fabric material. So I always have at least one mask in my bag, if not two, just in case one gets dirty or I drop it on the floor or anything like that. I always have a backup. So I've got one here now and this just is an essential, obviously, at the moment. And the last thing I have in here is just a little handbag hook. So these are really good for if you're out and about and you don't want to put your bag on the ground. So it comes in this kind of small little metal ring and it just winds out and then falls around. So the idea is this sits on top of a table and then your handbag just hangs on the bottom there so that it's not touching the floor. It's just hanging on a hook, which is useful. Sometimes I don't want to put my bag on the floor if I'm somewhere that's a bit dirty or anything like that. So I do try and carry these with me everywhere that I go. They're really cheap. You can get them on Amazon and places like that. So that's always in my bags as well. And that is everything. So in the back of the Neverfall, you do also have this pocket, which I can use to put things in there that I don't want people to see, any kind of sanitary products or anything like that. It's a really good little place to store things. So the other thing in the bottom of my handbag is obviously the liner that I mentioned. Again, these are just great for keeping your bag structured, protecting the inside so that it doesn't get dirty and things like that. So I'd really, really recommend getting yourself one of these for any bag really. So there it is, completely empty. It's kind of just a big hole in there, but I love this bag. And since I've got it, it's just softened up so much the handles. Some people do complain about the handles on the Damier Ben are quite kind of hard and dig into your shoulders, much more than the Vachetta leather does on the monogram version, but mine have now just got so soft. It is just really, really comfortable now, and I use this all the time. I love the print. It goes with everything that I wear. It's just fantastic, and I would just keep on buying these. If anything happened to this one, I would get another one the next day. So I love it. I do also like the MM size, but for me, the GM, I just love it because it's just big enough to throw everything in 
and I can also use it for weekends or a night away. It's big enough that I can just fit everything that I need. So it does double up as a kind of travel bag as well. But yeah, I love it for work on a daily basis. And now with me working from home again, I am gonna miss taking this to the office every day. Maybe I can just pack it up and bring it with me anyway to my little desk and just sit, sit it on the floor so that I feel like I'm using a bag still. So that was my what's in my bag work edition, but now we'll get into the exciting part of the video, which is the giveaway. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm almost at 2000 followers on Instagram, which is amazing. So I thought I would just mark the occasion by giving something away to one of my followers. And the item that I'm going to be giving away is from Kate spade so if you have watched my videos for a while if you follow me on instagram for a while you'll know that i love this brand i have bags from there i have wallets from there the reason that i'm giving this away is because somebody gave it to me because they weren't using it they thought that i loved kate spade so i would get a much more use out of it but i haven't been and the reason for that is because i already have something in my collection which is very very similar to this so what i'm talking about is a long black wallet the only difference with this one is this one has a wristlet on it and as i mentioned earlier i'm not really using my larger wallets at the moment i'm using my smaller one so I just think having two of these is a bit greedy and while it is gorgeous it's sitting on my shelf and somebody else could really be loving it and using it every single day so I'm going to show you it now. So I have just got it wrapped up in this tissue paper which came with the bag. So if you watched my Kate Spade collection video a few videos ago you will have seen this one already. So it is just a black Kate Spade wallet with the gold hardware, the kind of gold logo and little spade there on the front. It's got this cross hatch leather, if you can see there in the light. So it's really, really durable. It won't get scratched or anything like that. It does have a wristlet, as I mentioned, and this is good because you can now use this as like a little bag, a little clutch bag on the evening. You can just put it over your wrist and kind of hold on to it and it's not going to go anywhere, which I really love about that. So if you just open it up, inside is this gorgeous black and white striped material, which is amazing. And then it's got so many different pockets. So if I can just show you on the back there, it has got slots there for some cards. This bigger kind of pouch there for cards, coins, anything. It's also got another little pouch in the middle and another pouch there on the side. So this is going to hold quite a lot if you're someone that takes coins, notes, cards, receipts, everything in the kitchen sink. This will be amazing for you. And the material is fantastic. As I said, it's really durable. It's not going to scratch because of that kind of crosshatch effect that it has. Yeah, I just, it's a shame that I'm, I've got this and I'm not using it. So I really, really want to gift this to someone who is going to get much more use out of it than I will. So to win this gorgeous gift, all you've got to do is head to my Instagram feed. When I've hit 2000 followers, I will have a photo up of the wallet and the bag and everything all together. So when you see that, it'll tell you the steps on there, what to do. But just to clarify, you should follow my account on Instagram, then also subscribe to my YouTube channel and then tag a friend who you think would absolutely love to win this as well. And then for a bonus entry, you can share it on your story. So this is going to be open worldwide just because I want everyone to have the chance to win this. So yeah, I'm so excited to just give this to someone and I hope they're going to absolutely love it. I know so many people out there do love Kate Spade as much as me. So I think this is going to make someone really, really happy. And yeah, I just, I want this to go to a really happy home. I don't want it sitting lonely on my shelf anymore because I've already got one that's quite similar. So yeah, really excited to give this away. And thank you so much for following me, for watching my videos. It really does mean a lot to me and I just, I just love doing it. It's just a really great hobby. So thanks again. If you are not subscribed though, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell as well 
just so you're notified when I upload my next video. But thanks again for watching. Please do subscribe to me and also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. I'm at Luxury and Life UK. And I do have a blog as well, which is luxuryandlife.co.uk. So thanks again for watching. Good luck for the giveaway and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.